as a doctor recommending uh, or interacting with brands. Again, I'm heavily shaped by the background of the company. So uh, has the company got a track record in healthcare? Is it a company I'm familiar with? Uh, can I recognize the brand of the company and have some confidence in the company overall as rather than just the individual product? The things that motivate me to recommend brands are the relationship that I have with the brand and also the company. You know, is it a good relationship? Uh, do I feel positively about that particular brand or company? Do I know it's a quality product? And I guess m most importantly, are the, you know, how does the patient feel about it? And do patients report back that it has good results? Does it, you know, can I give them confidence going, uh, going away with that product that, that it's going to work? There are very good companies that do a lot of um, interaction with us on a one-to-one -one or in small group basis to understand the real drivers of our behavior and then propose to us and test with us uh, strategies for uh, coping with, with those drivers. Uh, others, however, are far less likely to ask relevant questions. They tend to make assumptions. Uh, they adapt strategies that may have worked elsewhere, either elsewhere internationally or even elsewhere within our country, but are inappropriate for our particular environment um, or are less appropriate for our particular environment. And those companies are also very unwilling to do any tailoring of packages for a local needs or local environment. Uh, and frankly, I'm less interested in such companies. If they are that inflexible in their approach, then what do I as a clinician or the population that I serve, what do we have to gain from them? There are other areas in which I think industry and doctors can work together. Um, I think that uh, there is a great deal of uh, education uh, which can be provided for fellow clinicians and indeed we do need to develop materials and better communications with uh, patients. Often um, the kind of backup and the background, indeed the resource that's needed for doing this sort of thing isn't available from within the National Health Service or from within the health services in any country. And um, um, there are many good examples where industry and, and clinicians have worked together to produce high quality uh, education and training material. Doctors in general tend to like some element of human interaction when they're making decisions about uh, products. Like most doctors, that human interaction that is particularly important for me is uh, guidance from respected uh, opinion leaders within my profession and that is sometimes experts, uh, consultant specialists who are expert in a particular condition but also from uh, my GP colleagues or uh, pharmacist colleagues who have particular expertise and interests in a specialist area and I will listen to them as well as and perhaps give even more credence to them than I would to a rep or to any detail or to any other form of information. I think the activities that I uh, like are ones that change my practice, that I come away feeling a bit more confident about something, a bit more um, up to date, um, that give me a uh, cause to change what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think where I've had really positive experiences, it's been um, through, th through activities that have updated me to the point that uh, you know it's it's just very useful information and it, it changes what I do. So and that can be things like that can be attending a seminar. It can be uh, things like uh, just having information from rep stuff that I didn't know before. You know, it's been a while perhaps since you know I um, did a category area back in university and something new has happened and getting a fresh perspective on it and changing how then I make recommendations to patients. You know, those are all really satisfying. Those are the sort of activities that I like. I want a mature discussion with a company. Uh, I would like uh, good objective evidence 
from them about my population and how my population would benefit or not benefit from their product. Um, I will have much greater uh, respect for a company that is aware of the limits of its product than one that overclaims for its product. And if they can give me added value items around the product, that makes me even more interested. And added value items uh, as a healthcare organization might include things like um, health economic assessments, um, educational material, educational programs for my staff or for the public, uh, assistance with um, wider healthcare promotion campaigns where their product is relevant, um, uh, issues around uh, delivering healthcare to underserved populations, populations that have particular difficulty getting access to healthcare. 